Glory. <laughs> I don't know, but writing glory and pain <laughs> on your bike box. Uh, it's a bit weird. New bike today. Um, this will be my enduro race machine for next season. No visible damage as far as I can see on the box. So maybe the bike is not destroyed, but we will see. So I got some free fra frame protection, I guess. Uh, this I did not order. Um, book thing. Some manuals. This really ugly saddle. Chain guide um, thing. And some mech hangers. And this thing. Whatever that is. If you order from uh, Propane, just make sure that you get the, the mech hangers. It's like uh, $50 shipping just for the mech hanger otherwise. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, let's keep going. So we have some 29er wheels. These are new men rims, the EG. Yeah, Evolution EG30. I'm gonna guess that and EG is like Enduro Gravity. It's not the basic rim, it's an upgrade, but it's not the top of the line rim. I figure like, yeah, I'm gonna break these rims and I think I'm gonna get some higher spec ones when I break these ones. Those are Newman hubs as well. Another 29 wheel. So it's not a mullet setup, it's just full 29er. I do have a rear wheel that I may try. And that's a 27.5. Maybe I do that uh, for some races um, or like bike park sessions. And the beautiful, beautiful bike. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're going with the coil. This time, we're back on the coil, boys. And the bike, it's a Taiyi. Carbon fiber frame, full Fox factory setup. Apart from the seat post, that's a Revive from Bike Yoke. This is absolutely insane. This is definitely like the nicest bike I've ever bought. So I'm <laughs> just a bit like nervous, but uh, of course I'm gonna get comfortable on this one as well. But this is like, holy fuck. So the first no-no that I found uh, was that this is actually the wrong seat post. There's supposed to be a bike yoke revive. This is a divine, uh, it's actually a lower spec. So that's a bit weird that they uh, added that one instead. Definitely going to need to call them and see what's up, uh, because it's not the one that I ordered. All right, so I won't actually be using the stock bars here. For now, I'm gonna install it just to have it in place and then change it later. I actually think that I'm gonna use this uh, race face Atlas bar with a nice copper touch because it matches with the Kashima coat. And I think this is a 50 millimeter stem and I'm gonna change it to a 40. I do have a 31 stem as well, but I really like the 35s. Uh, actually, like I've <laughs> been trying them both for the past two years, and I think 35 in aluminum is going to be good for this one.
Now you may be thinking, hey, that's just a plain old black bike and boring. Yes. Yes, it is. But hear me out. But like all the orange parts from this one, I'm going to move over to that and then put on the stock brakes on that one before I sell it. And then we're going to have like black, gold and orange colorways. <laughs> and yes, it's very important. You really need to color match. I mean, this is biking. It's not, it's not about anything else than just having the correct colors. My whole concept with this bike is high-end suspension, low-end shifting, so it's a SRAM GX shifting system, low-end brakes because I'm gonna swap them anyways. And it's like I know rear derailleurs, you always break those, so why get an expensive one? All right. Okay, so the hanger seems to be fitted correctly. This should be as easy as just push in the cable a bit and then attach this boy. Now, if you've watched my channel before, I think you know that I love Kushcore. So I am going to add Kushcore to these wheels. So that's a SRAM Eagle GX cassette. Wow. The hub is like silent. But yeah, the hub is a Newman fade. I know all the pro athletes actually keep this one on their through axles, but I'm not pro, so I'm not going to use that one. They actually lube this one up. Nice. The reach and everything is quite similar to my old bike, but the wheelbase is like three centimeters longer, so it's a longer bike. And it's quite a big bike, but it's not like, it's not crazy big. And this is a size large, so I think it's actually quite good, because it should be quite nimble, even though it's a big bike. I absolutely love this remote for the dropper, drilled out. Um, no. There we go. Saddle is next, and you know what's going on here. Already have it on that bike. I'm not gonna keep this one. I actually love it. I'm gonna place this one on the old Marin and just uh, give it to whoever buys it. The world's most comfortable saddle, I think. All that ball space. Yeah. Definitely a taller bike than my previous one. So I can really feel that the, the stack is higher. So I'm gonna slam the seat post actually to get it as low as I can. And we have right now three spacers here underneath the handlebars. I'm gonna dip down the handlebars. But yeah, this, this feels like a beast. It feels a lot more like my downhill bike than my past uh, trail bike. And you know that we'll be rocking the F20s still. This is definitely the favorite pedal uh, I've ever used. I'm actually going to try to ride clipless, so not with flats, but with uh, clips, just because I want to try it. But for now, these ones are going on there. Love these ones. Um. Oh yes. This is going to be like the sweetest bike. <laughs> I mean, I don't really own that many things. What I do have is my bikes. And oof, this is why I do my job, so I can pay for this stuff. I'm actually going to take the grips from my other bike, even though they're kind of worn out. 
Um, I actually still like them. Hands down though, I think <laughs> this is like literally the most ugly, ugly stem I've ever seen. It looks like one of those, you know, Scott bikes and cross country stems. Before I go into the, all the parts, um, I'm coming from this. Uh, it's a 130, 125 travel bike. Quite an aggressive, like a down country bike esque. Um, it's super playful, super nice, very light, and the geometry is quite nice as well. Very short chain stays. But I feel like, you know, I want to be able to race in the Enduro League. Um, and I feel that that bike is not as stable as I want it. It's very quick in like narrow corners, but I can't really bomb uh, rock gardens in the way that I want to. Feels a bit sketchy hitting those huge drops. So yeah, this will be my race bike. I have been racing on this one, but it's, you know, just a bit too playful. Parts done. Newman EG30 wheels. They are 29ers. Uh, it's a Scholby Big Betty uh, rear tire. We'll change this up, of course. I want to put on uh, either some Continentals or Michelins, but uh, for now we will keep it. 30 or 29 inner diameter wheel. Brakes, like I said, base level, 200 size, uh, front and back actually. Of course, I'm swapping those ones over uh, for the Hope brakes, back and front. So new brakes, but for now, it's the SRAM G2. Moving forward, you saw the cranks, Fox factory su suspension. Uh, the bike, <laughs> I'm not sure if I said it, this is a propane tie carbon fiber. Uh, it's a size large. And it's a big bike, I can already tell, it's a lot taller. One thing about the propane frames that they have this dirt shield on their pivots, which is super nice, so they won't get that dirty. Like I said, it's a SRAM GX, chain bouncy thing. I think this will get torn off, probably, these little glued on parts. SRAM Eagle chain ring. I have a chain guide on there as well with the bash guard, which is nice. They have added the SRAM matchmaker. So it's only one clamp here for both the brake and the shifter, which is super nice. So Fox Factory 36 and my body weight is uh, around 75 kilos and this is a 450 coil. And of course, most importantly, the chrome badge. Yeah. I just can't wait to try it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and I guess I'll see you in the next video, maybe. Um, yeah. Bye. Surprise, motherfucker.